Hello, this is Shiv here, and welcome to a drawing tutorial. Today, I'm going to be drawing this bottle. I'm going to be doing the outline of the bottle and some shading. I'm not going to worry about the label on the bottle, but this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to draw one. Um, the equipment I'm going to have is a bottle, obviously, for reference, a rubber, uh, a pencil, preferably either a HB pencil or a 2B pencil. I'm going to be using the HP pencil because I find it much easier to draw. You also need a sharpener because uh, it will take a long time to draw the bottle perfectly. So the first step you would like to do is you'd like to draw an oval quite at the top because you'd like to get the lid and then you're going to mark it out. So you also need a ruler for this to measure it out. You won't need to draw with it but you'll still need one. So now, in the top middle of your page, you have to start drawing an oval. I will show it to the camera when I've done it. So, preferably like this, top middle. And then with your ruler, you like to mark down, go quite down to, to straight down, and you like to do a little dot. Now, that's going to be the centre of the bottle. So, then you're going to draw a uh, a rather lounge, uh, lounge, round oval at the bottom to signify at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, this can be in rough, but um, it should be a good oval. It's basically an enlargement of the top. Let's draw around here a couple of times. I don't have to be a perfect oval, but it has to be to a decent standard. That you might circle around it. It's going to be quite rough. Uh, so just like this, guys. Think this is a good one. So that's uh, how the bottom should look. So it should be in line with the um, over, as you can see. Actually, it's not too perfectly aligned. So I'm actually going to change that. The top of the oval. The top oval. Um, so I correct myself saying. Um, so, in line. Now, the second step you'd like to do is trying to uh, draw down this bit. Now, I'm going to draw until about here. Because then it starts separating and getting wider. A bit bolder here. Um, so, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping the bottle here for reference. So, I'd like to draw down a bit. Uh, you don't need to use a ruler for this, otherwise it makes it look unrealistic. We like to bring it down a bit. I think that's okay. Then there is a label here, but if you want, I'm not too worried about it. You can do this detail here. I don't know if you can see it. Well, well, I took the bottle. There's detail here with lines, and it's got a bit in there. Um, you can do that if you like, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm doing simple shape, simple outline of the bottle. So at this point of the bottle that I've done here... It started to go out a bit, so as you can see here, uh, I haven't done it quite. I've done it quite lightly. It's going out a bit here. Uh, I think I should do it straight a bit more because I won't have much room at the bottom. So I'm going to go straight down, and now I'm going to start going out. It has to be equal on both sides, otherwise your bottom won't look that good. Um. It's a bit wider here, actually. I'm going to move this so I can tell you guys how long. So, if you're drawing this bottle about 3 or 4 centimetres down from your top, you'd like to start making it, start it to uh, make it wider to get to the base of the bottle. As you can see here. So, before you start uh, drawing this part of the bottle, you like to try and get this outline perfect. Um, that's what I'm trying to do right now. But this drawing is quite intermediate. I think most people can do it. Uh, we actually learned it at my school. Um, and I've been doing this method and I think it's a really good drawing to start off if you'd like to get better at um, basic shapes and shading. So... An important part of it is it has to be in the middle of this. 
So I haven't done it that well here. So I'm just going to sort it out. I'll cut ahead in the video and then I'll show you um the product or how I'm supposed to how it's supposed to be. Guys, I just wanted to show you if you're struggling with getting it in line, try and draw a faint ruler line uh down the page from the bottom to the top of the top to the bottom. Uh now I'm gonna continue on with the sketch. I'm going to start drawing this bit again. Uh, guys, also leave in the comments down below what uh, tutorials you'd like me to do next, what other drawings, uh, sketches you'd like me to do. I, yesterday I started an elephant sketch. I haven't finished it yet because uh, I'm going to do it with my mum when she comes back. And this is what I've done so far. As you can see, we've done the, most of the hair. We haven't done too much detail. In it, we've done the trunk here and some of the tusks. In my opinion, I think I've done it quite well, but obviously there's lots of room for improvement. So I'm going to get back to the sketch, and I'm going to start drawing that down. I'm going to cut ahead until I was back to the point that I was before I uh, had to change the top of the bottle. Guys, another trick. So when you know you should stop drawing the curve, you can draw a faint line here at the edge of the bottle. So let me move that. Uh, at the edge, you can do a line at, at the edge of the base. And then I know that that's the bit that I'm going to start, finish on. Well, I've started, I think this bit's quite good now. Uh, so, sorry. Um, I'm going to rub this bit out now, because I haven't done that bit properly. So I'll cut ahead into the video when I'm done that bit. So guys, on this bit, I've done this bit, but I've done it like this. But obviously that's wrong because look, as you can see, the difference is it smooth instead of going down like that curve there. Um, so I'm going to rub it out the corner bit so I can curve it more and make it much more flatter. Uh, this bit's the, one of the hardest bits in the sketch because uh, when you've actually done it, it looks it looks actually. Like you've done it with a ruler, when you haven't. Uh, but before you worry about that, you are like to finish it down to the drawing bit here. So as you can see, that's the outline of the bottle. I need, I'm still going. To, I'm going to do this bit right. This bit here. Um, one second, guys. I just had a knock on the door. Sorry guys, just had to go to the door. Uh, I was saying that this bit has to be more curved. Right here. So I'm going to do that right now. This bit's quite hard. Uh, as I said before. But I'm going to try. I think that bit's that's, that's gone well. Alright. Uh, this is how it should look guys. If you're doing a bottle like this. It's not perfect. Obviously it should be a bit more down. But this is the one I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think this bit is, is a bit uneven to that. I'll do that right now. Uh, I've done that now, guys. So, now we're going to get to the proper detail. So, shading. Um, you've got to look at the tone marks. So, I think recommended for this bit, you'd like to use a what's this, 2B pencil. Uh, but I have black pencils here. So, you're just going to start shading. Now, what you, what you could do is a tone ladder. So I'm going to quickly do that right now. Um, if you don't know what a tone ladder is, it's basically a, a section of the drawing that explet that shows you how uh, it shows the tone. So I'm going to quickly draw that right now. There's usually five tones on a tone ladder, so it should look like this. Uh, do it at the side or the bottom of the page if you have enough room. But then you're going to want to do the um, lowest tone first, so uh, lightest. So you want to use side of the pencil, obviously, because that's shading. Uh, use always, always use side of the pencil when you're shading, guys. I know it might be hard, but that's what you've got to do. Uh, I haven't done that well. This, this is what the tone should look like. It's not the 
clear. Uh, next one's going to be one tone uh, darker than that, so you want to press. Uh, you could either do the same one as that, but then draw another one over that, which is, or do the same tempo over that. So, as you can see, I've done the same one twice. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing over that, so I'm going to draw over that. Not too dark, because we have other toads. So as you can see that it looks twice as darker as this one. This is the darker one. Uh, then you want to do the same thing, so you want to do it another type of dark. Uh, as you can, you can't see here, but I've nearly done the second part of the darkness, the third tone. Uh, you can do tone ladders up to about uh, the main ones that you do are six, five or six, but depends how uh, what drawing you're doing, what type of art you're doing. Um, so that's the third tone that I've done. Now they're going to start getting into the darker ones. So you want to push hard on the pencil. Not too hard, obviously. Because otherwise the tones won't work that well. So I'm going to do this tone. I'm going to do the last two tones. And I'm going to I'm going to cut in the video now until I've done the last two tones. So I'm going to show you guys. This one, uh, see, this one is the fourth darkest one. It's really dark, kind of. Uh, uh, this is the last one now. It's going to be the darkest one. So... Uh, this is good so you could so you could see how dark the shade is going to be. Uh, I'm going to leave the shading for another video, guys. Uh, I'm going to upload this. I think well, I'm calling it on New Year's Eve, so I'll upload it today, but it probably won't get out until tomorrow. And I'll record the shading video. This is part one of the. Uh, so. This video is the outline and a tone ladder. The last tone I haven't done it that well, but here it is. Uh, so it goes from the lightest tone to uh, medium, no, a really light to light to medium to dark to really dark. Uh, this is how your tone ladder should look. So now we're at the end of this video. This is what your uh, picture will look like. You should have your outline of your bottle here. And your tone ladder. You didn't have to have a tone ladder, but it's a good idea. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more tutorials. Remember to leave in the comments down below what kind of uh, tutorials like me to do. I can draw other things. Um, the elephant I did of someone else's video. Uh, I watched the video and copied it off that. But remember, but I was remember to leave a like. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.